All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Memorial Day weekend. We're going to start cleaning the GT350 today. But before we do, we want to introduce some of the products we're going to use and some of the tools we're going to use to wash the vehicle. Uh, Esther, would you mind helping me out? Yeah. Thank you, bro. Let's do this. Alrighty, so the first thing that I'll be introducing to you guys is the AR Blue Clean Power Washer 2000 Max PSI. And the PSI on this says Max 2000, but it's probably more like 1500, close to 1600 maybe. And that's more than adequate to do this job. Um, I use the regular hose from the, uh, the house. I don't use any kind of water purification system. I don't have a fancy Krenzla like uh, Matt on Obsessed Garage does. Uh, I don't think there's really need for that. Uh, this does a job and does it great. So I'm really happy with this pressure washer. The next thing that I'll be introducing to you guys is the Snow Foam Auto Wash. Um, this is what you put inside of the foam cannon or yeah. the soap cannon. I like to use uh, one part soap to three parts water. So that ratio works out really good for me on, on this application. All right, the next thing that I'll be introducing Adam's Polishes Car Shampoo, and the reason being that we have it two bottles is just in case we run out of this, we can just fill it right back up with this. Refill. Refill. Alrighty. The next thing is just a regular bucket that we're going to use for the wheels and tires. It's a tire bucket. Yep, it's 100% clean, don't worry. Clean, clean, clean. And then we have the car wash bucket just in general to wash the whole entire car. 100% clean, once again. <laughs> Then we have the um, the washing mitt. Uh, the washing mitt I get from uh, Chemical Guys. They have a good selection of towels. You can get it from Adams as well. Those two distributors have some really good wash mitts. Mm -hmm. Then over here we have the um, grip guard. Grip guard, yes. And, and what uh, do we use it for? This one we use for uh, catching all the dirt on the bottom and keeping it separate from the wash mitt. So when we're washing our car, we reintroduce this into the wash bucket, um, kind of rinse it off. Uh, not rinse it off, but kind of push it around. All this dirt will sit to the bottom and kind of not reintroduce itself to the uh, wash mitt. And some people like to use a two bucket wash system, like Matt from Obsessed Garage or uh, some other detailers. Um, if you do what I do, a two wash bucket is really not necessary. And, uh, those two wash bucket systems are kind of expensive as well. Not to cheap out, but if you don't need it, just less stuff you have to carry around the garage. The next thing is the waffle weave um, drying towel. Uh, the waffle weave drying towel uh, that I have here is, in my opinion, phenomenal. Uh, McGuire's makes this. Uh, they call it the microfiber water magnet drying towel. It's a waffle weave drying towel. And uh, I, I love it. It's a perfect size. It, um, it does what I need to do. Once it gets uh, saturated with water, I just fold it twice, and then it fits right in my hand, I can squeeze it out. Some towels, I've tried the uh, Adams towels, it's like twice as big as this, and you just can't seem to rinse it out or wring it out. Really annoying. So this one here is absolutely perfect size, absorbs everything up, doesn't hurt the paint at all. If you, if you do decide to go with the Meguiar's um, drying towel, out of the package, don't use it. Put it through a wash, it'll be more absorbent and make sure your towel is damp uh, as well to make your drying uh, a lot easier. Alright, the next thing is the tire brush. Yeah, the tire brush we have here, um, I came across and I fell in love with. So if you have any questions regarding these products, by the way, uh, leave, leave a comment below and I'll answer you guys individually. I'm happy to do so. This tire brush is awesome. It's got the right firmness. It's not too hard, not too soft. I feel like I can really work it. I, I know it's doing the job and it, it does the job. So I love this brush. Alright, next thing is the uh, wheel. Wheel, bully. wheel bully, yeah. And it comes in three different sizes large, medium, and small. And before my dad gets deeper into the description, my dad did use this in his Mustang GT350 and it worked perfectly. It did, it worked, uh, it worked perfectly, but I do need one more brush. Mm -hmm. uh, the GT350 has those huge brakes, the monster Brembo's and the calipers. So these actually worked perfectly in the GT. For the GT350, they, they, they do okay. I need to get one more in there so I can get inside the inner wheel. Uh, these have no metal on them. They have no potential scratching to finish on the wheels. That's why I love these things. Some of the, uh, the wheel brushes out there have a, a wire um, cap on it and the, the potential to scratch the wheels. I love these. No danger whatsoever. Easy to use, fun to use. And like the SR said, they come in three different sizes. And SR also talked about the, uh, the foam cannon. Uh, so we'll talk about that in a second. 
Okay. Next over here, we have the um the power wash the power wash ones. Power wash ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these do connect to this, so you just like twist it on, and then you just. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it makes that noise. Now, um, this is the, what came with uh, the pressure washer there. I don't use this, uh, mainly because it's kind of long and awkward. Most of you guys are probably used to using uh, these longer wash ones, but when you attach the foam can on there, it gets kind of front heavy. And uh, I, I, I've seen these things crack pretty much where you tighten them on. And, and I think that's due to just having the length on here and just swinging it around. I think this causes. Uh, uh, stress on the weakest part of this, so that is one reason. The next reason is 2,000 psi or more like 1,500 to 2,000 psi is, is is not overwhelmingly powerful. This right here, you get up close and personal with the car, you can attach your uh, foam can, no problem. It's not going to give you that extra weight, you know, two feet, three feet in front of you, and you can apply it rather easily, which I'll show in, in the video. So I like to go to these two for the rinsing and the foam can portion of it. So um, I'm really happy with these two nozzles. This one here, again, I never use. It's still brand new. Uh, I don't know why I still have it. I just, uh, I guess I can't throw it away. Maybe I can, I don't know. But anyway, these are the tools that we're gonna use to wash the GT350 today. And um, stay tuned, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna start uh, the process. So uh, what I wanna do first is take the pressure washer, rinse off the vehicle, kinda just take one of the ones here, rinse off the whole vehicle, get any kind of loose debris that I can just with the regular water, just dredge the whole vehicle, rinse it off, and then I'm gonna do the uh, one part of the uh, foam can and soap, the three parts water, and foam can the whole vehicle and clean the wheels, and while that is loosening up the rest of the dirt that the water didn't get, and just kind of sit there for five, 10 minutes, I'm gonna start cleaning the wheels, and once that's done, we're gonna rinse off the rest of the vehicle, and then we're gonna get our car wash bucket ready to go with the Adams car shampoo and you're probably going to wonder why is this guy using the foam cannon using the Adams shampoo why are you rinsing it foam canning it rinsing it washing it now these are important to me as far as making sure I don't get the debris left behind the car it's a few extra steps but if you own a car like this in my opinion a lot of the fun is actually washing the car, owning the car, washing it, driving it, it's all experience and I enjoy it. If you, if, if, if you are like me, um, you're, not, you're not putting hundreds of miles on the car a day, so you have it in the garage, you pull it out, washing it, it should be fun. That's why you, you, you watch these videos and you learn about the different tools and the different uh, supplies you can use. So if you're gonna do it, have fun with it and do it right. So that's the process I'm gonna show you guys next. Please, uh, please let me know what you guys think in the comments below on the video and uh, the next part is going to be washing the GT350. Please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned guys. Thank you. Okay, we're going to use a 25 degree nozzle in here to rinse off any loose debris to get any kind of dirt that's just sitting on the surface before we do the foam cannon. So let's go ahead and start rinsing off the car. Okay guys, we're ready for the foam cannon, the car's all rinsed off. First step of uh, getting the dirt off is complete, second step begins now. 
Let's see, let's get the uh, foam cannon all set up. With the right angle, right amount of pressure before we put it on the car. Okay, here we go, guys. Foam cannon time. For some reason, this is so satisfying. It is satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let me get the other side now, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, the car's got the foam cannon. This is pretty much empty. We're gonna get our wheel and tire bucket ready. So while this is loosening up that second part of the dirt that we might have missed with the initial rinse, we're gonna start cleaning the wheels and tires now. So let me get the bucket ready for that. Okay guys, we have our wheel woolly and our brushes ready to go to clean the tires and wheels. So let's get that started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start cleaning the tires. Again, this brush is amazing. I, I love it. Phenomenal. Okay, we're gonna make sure we get all around the whole vehicle. Very nice. And then let's start using the different uh, wheel woolies. I like to use this one to get the uh, new part of the wheel. Lug nuts. Okay, I'm gonna take the bigger one now. I'm gonna apply my soap. Get that, get some soap applied, and we'll come back to it again. Again, I'm gonna need a new brush to get really inside and around the, uh, the brakes and the calipers, because right now, these brushes will only be able to do so much for me. Because I really can't, <laughs> have them rotors really not allow me to get in there comfortably. <laughs> Turn into a pancake. So, um, I mean, I can use this, but I'm not going to be able to get all the way to the back of that comfortably. I mean, I can get inside and behind it, but then uh, they have some nice brushes out there where they have the actual angle to get everything. So, you want to get inside the wheels as best as you can. And behind them, get in here again if you want to. Again, this is uh, supposed to be fun, not work, so definitely enjoy the process. So, I'm going to do all four wheels. Like this, I'm gonna spend enough time to make sure I got every nook and cranny cleaned up. I don't wanna go back in there once the car's all done and washed and clean and find some more dirt and debris. So I'm, I'm in no rush during this process here. I wanna make sure I get everything I can possibly get. So I'm gonna get all the wheels like so. This one again, maybe get this a little bit more as far as I can reach in front of the caliper. Another brush in there. This one here. Behind the brambles, maybe a little bit. 
this tiny one get inside behind it so it feels like it's almost right up against the inner wheel that's how big this brake caliper is okay that's as far as i'm making with that one Maybe going through the same areas once again, but that's okay. I want to make sure it's absolutely clean. Right, going here one more time. It's kind of sunny out, so I'm gonna, for experience purposes, I'm gonna uh, I'm not gonna vlog the rest of the three wheels tires. I'm gonna get those done uh, in the garage. I'm gonna move the car in the garage and get it done out of the sun, and then uh, I'm gonna start washing the car. So we'll vlog that next. Okay, guys, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, looks like we got all the foam cannon off. So the car's all rinsed off now. So we've rinsed it, we've foam cannoned it. We've gotten off a majority of the contaminants. The car's pretty, probably pretty good to go as is. We're still gotta wash it just to make sure we're 100% clean. Let's go get a bucket ready. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, let's get the uh, grit guard in the, in the bucket. Let's get our wash pad ready here. Put some soap in there. Nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some bubbles going. Okay, I think that's good. If you guys have any uh, jewelry or watches on, this is probably a good time to take them off. Uh, if you have any belt buckles, you don't want to have anything on that could possibly scratch your car. So just uh, keep that in mind. Let's go start washing the panels, guys. And sorry about the wind. It's a little windy today and we don't have the microphone uh, on the camera today, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Oh man, drives off quick, doesn't it? It's a hot day today, a moldy weekend. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the top of the car, okay guys? So let's get this thing plopped up there and get it going. Here we go. this in the, in the bucket one more time, get the little hair from the top of the car. Okay, Meg, let's get the hood, Meg, and then we'll run on the other side, okay? Sorry about the wind, guys. I apologize. I know that's probably not sounding too good on your end right now. Hopefully you can hear me. I promise the next vlog we'll have our camera set up properly. Okay, let's get the top of the car. as well. All right, windshield. Now we'll start getting the side windows and the half the door all around the car. I'm 
gonna get on the other side, okay? What's going on? Okay, look at the bumper, tail lights. Here. I love the front end of this car. I don't know how to describe it, but it's mean. It's very aggressive. It's got the look. If you're if you're behind someone and they look at that rearview mirror. This car is a tough look, I love it. Such a sexy car. Okay, working our way down. We'll get the, uh, the rest of the bumper. It's a hot one today. It really is a hot one too. Okay. I'm done with this. I like to clean my exhaust too while well I'm here. So I'm just going to grab regular just a regular towel here I'm just gonna get the exhaust a little bit while I'm here microfiber towels are not the best so I figure I can use them on the exhaust tips inside really good and That's it guys, let's rinse this bad boy off before the, the sun really bakes those suds on there. And the wash is pretty much done. The next step is going to be taking our uh, waffle weave towel and drying it off. So let's go and dry this off, right Manek? Let's do it. Yep. Awesome. Walk around the car, see if I miss any spots. See if there's any suds on the car anymore. Is 
ready to pull in the garage? It's ready to pull in the garage. Let's do it. Let's pull in the garage. Okay guys, so we've rinsed the car, we have foam can in the car, rinsed that off, we've cleaned all four wheels and tires, and now it's time to dry off the vehicle with our uh, waffle weave drying towel. So this is pretty much the last step before we actually start applying anything like the tire dressing, and I'm going to do that on a separate video. Anything I use to clean the interior or dress the tires with, I want to do on a whole separate video. So. Um, yeah, you guys got the basics of, of what I do when I actually detail my cars and uh, the process involved and uh, the stuff that I use and try to make it simple, try to make it fun, make it effective. And yeah, I mean, you can see it turned out pretty good. Uh, having a pretty cool car doesn't hurt. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank uh, Medic for doing the video today. Thank you, Medic. You're welcome. Thank you so much, and Esma. Uh, thank you so much for doing the uh, Product reviews? You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All the product introductions. <laughs> um, so, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video. And uh, remember, we got the giveaway for those four GT350 posters. So, uh, definitely like and subscribe. And then uh, let me know what kind of vehicle is your favorite. And I've had some of you guys give me uh, uh, a few cars you guys like. Three or four cars are your favorites. It's hard to kind of just pick one. And let me know what you like most about my videos. Some of you like my garage. Some of you like the fact that I include my, my family in the videos. But uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys next time when I um, do the interior of the vehicle. My friend Joe is going to be lining me up with a real nice vacuum. We'll do a re review on that vacuum as well. And then we'll show you guys what kind of tire shine I use and what kind of applicators. And uh, how I clean the interior of the car and kind of dress that up a little bit. So thank you guys again for watching. Happy Memorial Day weekend and um, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.